unrelenting rain, the weather theme here in West London, we're at Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Chelsea up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Kadidu Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have fit. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations. And their movement is also very good but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And so the battle commences. Wilfried Zaha. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Aspili Quetta. Kuribali. Kukureya. Here's Mount. Havertz. Can he put it away? And saved by the keeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? He got in the way of that cross. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. And deep into the penalty area. This might be ideal for the counter. Wasteful from Chelsea. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Are you? Very quick thinking there. Mateo Kovacic. Plenty of support here. Ziyech, well read to ease the pressure. Can they hit on the break? Are you? Long way out, this. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And a free kick awarded by the referee. 
And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. taking everyone by surprise he didn't miss by much well this is all about his technique the ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal that's a really good effort well a successful intervention winning the ball back oh fancy footwork well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And taking it away. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Kovacic must take the lead here oh but he's missed it how on earth is this still level well I just don't know Derek just a real lack of composure in the end they should be ahead now Palace recovering possession well. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Over it comes. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Jorginho it's with Hakim Ziyech Mount it's a perfect challenge well as you can hear the fans think that should have been a penalty but I'm not convinced might go ahead well that effort was always going wide he's not going to be best pleased with himself Are you? Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end. Jorginho. Kai Havertz. And Chelsea have given us away. And they need to get tighter here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They oh, opportunity here, Stuart! Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save.
Now sending it in. Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And over it comes. Well, clattered away. Really bright-looking attack. Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. This to open the scoring here. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Kai Havertz here's Mount and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Possession lost by Chelsea here. Plenty of space for the Crystal Palace attack. Can he take the chance? Thiago Silva's block. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, we know all about the considerable heights Mason Mount is capable of scaling. But it's not happening for him so far. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. Well, underway once more into the second half. And from a Chelsea point of view, it's all about battling back. Terrific block. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Plenty of options. Kai Havertz. An unforced error, you've got to say. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, in there to tidy up. Ezzy. Schloop. Well, far from the ideal pass.
Jorginho. And threading it forward. Splendid defending. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Mount. Determined defending. Well, it's been quite clear that Palace have been second best in terms of possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Kukureya. Here's Kovacic. Mount. Able to skip past his man. Oh, surely! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 29, Kai Havertz. To be replaced by number 9, Trying to deliver it accurately. Zaha. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Obama Young. Opportunity it is. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Who can he pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. Koulibaly. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Are you... Really good high press. But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be. And the substitution will occur now. Mount. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Ayu. Will Hughes. Well, these Chelsea players need to step it up here because their fans have been brilliant. Can they get this equaliser? Cech Ducouré. Eberecci Ezi on the ball. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Surely! Oh, great block. This might be ideal for the counter. And a good-looking ball. A penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. Number nine, Jordan 
Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. To finish it as a contest. And confidently converted. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Fofana with it. You know, Chelsea have an awful lot of space. Could pull one back here. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. There's a thorough understanding of defending Aspili Quetta. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Well, opting for the short corner. Obama Yang. Possibility for Obama Yang. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And he's fired over the corner. It might still be problematic. And the referee signals that this game is officially over. And disappointment for Chelsea, you've got to say. Nothing for them from this game. Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. What a good performance, as we've come to expect from Wilfred Zaha. What did you make of his contribution? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.